Hello everybody, today I'm going to be replacing a fuel quantity valve. So the fuel quantity valve is located right there, as you can see. So the first thing we need to do to remove, uh, to replace the quantity valve will be to drain the fuel filter uh, fuel. We're gonna drain all the fuel that is here so we can remove all the hoses here. Okay, the fuel is drained, now we're going to remove the hoses. We're gonna remove this hose right here so we can get some room. This bracket thing is right there. And uh, we're gonna remove all these hoses so we can access to the quantity valve right there. Okay, the fuel lines are out. Uh, now we have some room to access to the fuel quantity valve right there. So now we have to disconnect these plugs. Okay, now we're gonna remove the hose that is right here, that hose right there. Uh, to remove the hose, we need to drain the coolant freeze, and then we're gonna remove the plate that is right there. This is the rear uh, support plate of the fuel pump, so we can access to the all to the bolts and are behind the plate. Okay, the hose and the plate are off. Uh, now we can remove the bolts that are holding the quantity ball on place. There are three bolts. There is one right here, and there is another top, and there is one behind the quantity valve. We're gonna use a T30 to remove the three bolts. Okay, the three bolts that are holding the quantity valve are out. Now we can uh, remove the quantity valve using a, a screwdriver to pray and break the seals. Okay, the fuel quantity valve is out. Uh, this one is damaged. So I have the new one here. We're gonna install this one on the fuel pump. But before installing the fuel quantity valve, we want to inspect the orifice where the fuel quantity valve goes. To look for any particle or any seal that is there, and if there is, if there is any, we want to clean it, and then we want to insert the new one. Okay, the fuel quantity valve is in place. Uh, now we're going to inspect that everything is right uh, and secure. And after that, we're gonna insert the plate we remove and the hose we remove to remove the quantity ball. The plate and the hose are in place. Now we're gonna insert the plugs, the fuel quantity plug and the sensor right here. And the last thing to do is to ins uh, install all the hoses we remove. Everything is back in place as you can see. Uh, we're just gonna double check that everything is fine. Now we're gonna bleed the fuel system. We're gonna refill the fuel filter housing because we drain all the fuel. And then we're gonna start the engine. Okay, with the engine running, we're gonna check all the area we work to see if there is any leak. Okay, engine is running fine with no problem. All we're gonna do right now is to reset the quantity valve adaptations right here and we go reset here. One zero, one zero, zero, one zero, zero. Okay, this is all I want to show you about the replacement of the fuel quantity valve. If you have any questions about this video, just comment below and I try to answer them as soon as I can. Please like the video, share it, subscribe, and thank you for watching.